I'm Yolas. Today we're going to be making a practice track for La Casa de Cuerdas by Jeffrey Frizzy. So one thing that is different about your part than all the other parts in the orchestra is you are the only instrument in the orchestra that does not play pizzicato. You're the only instrument that plays with the bow the entire time. So because you're playing with the bow the entire time, something to keep in mind when you're doing this is you have what's called, and the rest of the orchestra has this too, what's called staccato notes. So if you're doing a staccato note, I'm just gonna play it on open D, then you need to make sure you're stopping the sound. So it's just, and I'm not adding an accent to it. Accent would have a little oomph to it. I don't want that. And it's not written in your music. So you literally just want a stopping of the sound. everything doing what it's supposed to and you're not doing this with your arm, it's going to be a lot easier to do that. Um, and the other thing that you should keep in mind is that you need to do the dynamics, especially since you're using the bow the entire time. You have the melody at the beginning and then you have it again at 21. So those are some good times to bring that out. But when you aren't the main part, or maybe they want it to be piano, such as like at 37, make sure you're going to play that quietly because that means another section either has a melody at that time or Mr. Frizzy just wants you to be a little softer. For your tempo, instead of going 120, the last time I saw you in class we got up to 105. So for this video we're going to go 105 beats per minute. If you don't have a metronome, go into Google, type in online metronome, there's a little slidey bar, adjust it to 105 and then click play and you have a metronome. I hope this helps you violas. One, two, ready, play. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.